Welcome back. Hope you liked the last video where we made this thing a complete roller. First time it's looked like this in probably 40 years, not to mention we added a rotary motor to it. So, uh, we're probably not quite ready to drive it yet. We need a little bit more work on this thing. We need to add a jack shaft because this is kind of a non-conventional setup. So we're gonna have to do some crazy stuff with chain um, to get power to the back wheel. We're also going to have to do things like add fenders, mount our gas tank, and a bunch of other fun stuff like that. So lots of work here, but good news is we're working on a cool bike, so let's just get started. So I hope you all can get an idea of what's kind of going on here. We added this bar right up in here, and that's basically going to be our carrier mount for the jack shaft. And I call this a carrier because it's actually super beefy. Um, we kind of went, you know, overkill, I will say, but I do like how strong it is. These are actually um, like those weld-on things you get at a tractor supply store that kind of you weld on a little sprocket to it. Um, but it fits our 5 ace bearings perfectly and it looks like a giant carrier, like a center section. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld these two together and then we'll weld our lifters up to here to kind of bring it up to height. And then that's that for the jack shaft. Look at that. Butter. So now I'm going to weld it up all the way. We have this all welded up and it is super strong. Like this is not going to move at all. So yeah, we just put our little Go Power Sports jack shaft in here and we're going to try and line this thing up, center and weld it up. Alright, so we got our half link in. And this side of the jack shaft is completely done. And yeah, it spins really well. That's it's all lined up. To feast your eyes on this jack shaft setup. I know it's nothing special, but we're actually really proud of how it turned out just because of how strong it is. And just all the work that's gone into this thing. I mean, we had to make this own shaft for the rotary. We had to do all this work. Um, so now what we need to do is I think we're just gonna move on to mounting up our seat and we'll be one step closer. We got these Go Power Sports fenders right here, and we're doing our brackets now for the front fork. And luckily, we just finished our Manco Thunderbird build, and we cut off this front bracket for our front plate. And that's pretty perfect right there. So we just need to cut it to size and weld it in, and that'll also hold our front two forks together. So the bracket's in, and we just drilled the holes on our fender, so let's see how this thing looks. Pretty sweet. Yeah. So the front fender's in and it looks really good. So now we're working on a back fender and we're gonna do something a little different. We're probably just gonna weld this thing in. Since this thing's all gonna be chrome, we're not gonna have to worry about painting things separately or really having to take this off at all. And it would just make it a lot easier since we don't have much room back here, especially with this carrier. So rear fender is welded in and it looks awesome. We kind of have a similar kind of front tire space and rear tire space showing on both sides. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna finally make an exhaust for this thing. So we have a flange here that fits on a 212 that comes in the Go Power Sports Build Your Own Exhaust Kits. And we got super lucky because, while it's not perfect, at least our outlets line up. Um, so we're gonna be able to use that. This is also a temporary exhaust because we're gonna be doing something kind of special with this thing in the future. But we're gonna have this flange here and then we have this one inch thinner walled, um, I don't, I'm not sure, quite sure on the gauge, but the thing is we'll be able to bend this in our Pro Tube Spender, and we'll be able to go right up and back and then out with an RLV muffler. Should be really loud, Should hopefully shoot some flames and get red hot, um, so let's run it. So I just bent up this 180 degree that's gonna make up our exhaust tubing and it's going to be pretty sick so the idea is it's just going to come out right out to this side and now what we need to do is so we're not blasting exhaust right into the shock here i'm going to put another little bend in here probably about 30 degrees that way our rlv muffler kind of sticks out something like this so jason's doing some maintenance on the hydraulic section of this so we're doing it the old-fashioned way that worked out in a while anyways but we're just getting this bent up to 30 degrees and we will be on our way with the exhaust.
I just finished up getting the exhaust bolted up. I took it off, welded it up, put it back on. Now it's all cooled down and we are ready to rip. We have our Go Power Sports 8 inch spun aluminum gas tank up here. Um, it's just zip tied on there because we actually lost the hose clamp. It's been sitting in a parts box for a little bit because we were looking at using it on a different project, kind of got pushed back. So that's the story on that. So now what we got to do is we have some pre-mixed gas that just we're going to pull out of the stock Saks tank. So let's do that right now. All right, everybody, moment of truth. She's full on gas. It has been a while since we started this thing, so we might need some starter fluid or something. Hopefully she isn't gunked up, but we're gonna give it a shot right now. Do you remember the throttle launch? Oh, so that's throttle. That's, that's no down. throttle. Okay. Let's just try like regular. Maybe she's gonna be super happy. So we got this thing running in this video. We made a sick exhaust. We have fenders, gas tank, just a whole bunch of progress, y'all. But we actually do have quite a bit of work to do before we can get to driving this thing. We're gonna have to make like a custom section for a brake that goes over our clutch, kind of like we did on the Cafe Racer mini bike. I'll link the video right here if you haven't seen that yet. But other than that, we need things like throttles and grips, but Go Power Sports has got us covered on there. We gotta hook down our gas tank properly. But y'all, I hope you guys are excited to see this thing rip. We sure are. I mean, it sounds so good. I hope y'all got a little taste of that rotary noise. Um, but there's a lot more where that's coming. So thank you all for watching. Thank you, Go Power Sports. Thank you, Pro Tools. And we'll see you next time.